Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope you're having a good day. Um, and I figure since last week I did a video on WWE Year End Awards for the Slammies. Uh, in case you didn't watch that yet, feel free to go ahead and check that out. Like, like, comment, all that stuff. Uh, but since that video actually did so well, I figured I would do an NXT Year End Awards video as well. Um, and boy do they have a lot of categories though. Um, I was surprised when I opened this up and went to see exactly how many there are because honestly I've been consistently voting for a certain tag team in the NXT tag team category. I'm sure you guys can figure that one out. Um, so I haven't gone through all of the awards until just now when I was prepping to film the video and there is so much. Um, but I guess that just speaks to what a great year we had for NXT uh, in 2020. So without further ado, since there is a lot to cover, let's get right to it. Uh, we'll start with the NXT tag team uh, of the year award, most clear category for me. You guys know me. Uh, so our choices are Undisputed Era, Oni and Danny, Breezango, Gallus, Legato del Fantasma, and of course, Imperium. My pick. Alright, so although there's a lot of good category, a lot of good, uh, contenders in that category, so, um... You know, Oni and Danny had a great year. Obviously, Brizango did as well. Undisputed Era always has great years. Um, but, of course, you guys know my heart, and I gotta go with Imperium. So, rivalry of the year. Um, first, right off the bat, I voted for Pat McAfee versus Adam Cole because although there were a lot of great rivalries this past year in NXT, uh, this one I just felt really stood out to me because... Uh, Pat just came, like, this feud just started with such a bang. It, the story building up to it was really well. Um, there were moments that were shocking. Then Pat had his match, and he just blew us all away. And he's fantastic on the mic. He's so well-rounded. Uh, I had to go with Pat McAfee versus Adam Cole in this category. They've been, they've been doing excellent with this feud. I, I really enjoy this one. Candice LeRae versus Io Shirai. Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano. That's a good one as well. Uh, Loomis versus Grimes. Can't go wrong there. That's a great feud, really fun feud. Um, unless you're Cameron Grimes, maybe not so fun there. He's still trying to figure out a way to, uh, I guess, um, protect himself from the entity that is Dexter Loomis. Okay, Shotzi Blackheart versus Robert Stone. Rhea Ripley versus uh, Raquel Gonzalez, which I think is it was actually a... Um, Kind of a, a uh, the one's kind of snuck up on all of us, I thought. I mean, on paper, it, it sounds great and it looks great. You got a Lady Haas fight. I love it. Um, but Raquel, man, what a year she's had, though. Uh, she came in. If you go back, watch my past videos. Honestly, I wasn't very high up on her. Uh, she has worked her butt off. She has grown in the ring. I'm very impressed now. I'm really enjoying her stuff in the ring. I'm really enjoying that feud. So that's a really good option as well. Uh, Walter versus Ilya, again, can't go wrong there, um, great choice, great nomination for that, I love that feud, uh, I love those two, so, of course, that's a good one as well, KLR, uh, Kaylee Ray versus Piper Niven would be my pick for least favorite feud, um, this one's just been weird for me, uh, the storyline, the storytelling in the ring during the match for all of their matches has been so all over the place. I'm just not into this feud at all. I am excited for it to end. Um, and for uh, hopefully some other people to get in the title scene there. And uh, over in NXT UK. Breakout star Damian Priest, Shotzi Blackheart, Cameron Grimes, Dexter Loomis, Timothy Thatcher, Pat McAfee, Raquel Gonzalez, uh, Santos Escobar and Ilya Dragunov. Oh boy, that is, that's one of the most loaded categories there is in my opinion because so many people, it just speaks to again how great NXT has been. So many people just had such a fantastic year in wrestling in NXT. Um, Shotzi, I mean, wow, that's a really strong choice. She really came into her own this year. If you go back all the way to the spring with the women's gauntlet match, she did not win that, but man, she just run the she ran the gauntlet. She had a great showing there. One of my favorite matches from Shotzi. Uh, one of my favorite matches of the whole year that I just don't think uh, really gets enough appreciation. But she really shined in that one. She's been doing all sorts of stuff since then. Uh, she's really grown. She looks great. Uh, it's just 
Great things for Shotzi, and I'm super happy for her. Dexter Loomis, um, hard to argue with that one. He's always fun to watch. Um, he, it's just, you can't take your eyes off him. And especially because he locks those icy cold blue eyes on you. Uh, he is just, he's so entertaining. He's so captivating. Dexter Loomis, great choice. Cameron Grimes, oh, one of my favorite choices in this category. Uh, I have been, if you go back earlier on my channel, um, way early this year... I did a video, uh, this was probably, I want to say, like, late like late winter, so, somewhere around February-ish, I think I did this video, um, about, you can look, it's the um, most underrated superstars on each brand. My pick back then actually was Cameron Grimes, and since then, uh, my pick was Cameron Grimes for the NXT brand. Since then, what a year he has had. Uh, and well-deserved. Um, Cameron Grimes is amazing in, like, every category. I mean, he's a great heel. He's great on the mic. He's great in the ring. He's a great storyteller, great seller. Just, he just, he checks every box. I mean, it, that guy's amazing. I'm so glad for the year he's having. Pat McAfee. <laughs> Hard to argue with that choice. Um, this would probably be my second pick. Uh, you guys know how much I love Pat. He is, you know, I just got done, uh, Talent mentioning for rivalry of the year, all the great things Pat McAfee has done this year, how amazing, how surprising, impressive he has been. Um, so he's a great pick as well. Raquel Gonzalez, again, like I said, we just went over that, uh, how much she has improved. Um, if there was, I'm looking over these right now, a most improved category, I think the closest thing would be Future Star that they have listed. Um, if there was a most improved category, though, that would maybe have to go to Raquel. Um, Santos Escobar, again, can't argue with the year he's having, cruiserweight champion, um, you know, formed his faction, looking dominant on NXT, good stuff from him too, Ilya Dragunov is getting, you know, the attention, getting booked, getting um, the spotlight that he deserves, I've been a fan of this guy before WWE, and it is great to see everything that he has accomplished, um, in WWE, picking right up where he left off at WXW, I love it, good stuff. Um, but I gotta go with Timothy Thatcher. Uh, he has had a great year. Um, I think the best is still yet to come for Tim as well. Um, I'm, obviously you guys know, I'm hoping at some point they put him with Imperium because they were in comf before they got to WWE. They should be back together again. I would love to see that. I am, that is my WWE New Year's, I don't know if you, I wouldn't say resolution, right? But my, my wish, my WWE, my wish list. Um, that's right up at the top there. Um, but Timothy Thatcher, super impressive, super in the ring, super just great in the ring. Um, man, his technical prowess, his attention to detail, all of that kind of stuff. He is, he's so crisp and so clean and such a great technical wrestler. His matches are always so beautiful to watch. Um, so I got to go with him. Uh, male superstar of the year, we have Finn Balor. Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, Keith Lee, Walter, and Champa. Again, I gotta stick with my heart. I gotta go with my guys in Imperium. The Ring General. I gotta go with Volta. Female Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley, Shotzi Blackheart. Uh, no, wait, I am mistaken. I read the wrong list. Uh, Shotzi's not in there. That's weird. I, I guess automatically I'm putting her in in my head. Uh, Rhea Ripley, Io Shirai is what I meant to say. Uh, I'm reading off my list here because there is so much information, I couldn't believe it. Rhea Ripley, Io Shirai, Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai, Kaylee Ray, and Tegan Knox. Um, I think you'd kind of um, be hard to make a case for Tegan Knox the year that she has had, unfortunately. Uh, she's been injured for a lot of it, so I don't really... Uh, there's a lot of good choices here, though. Uh, I gotta go with Dakota Kai. I love Dakota Kai. I think she is the unsung hero of the women's division. She is fantastic in the ring. I've been a fan of hers for a while. Um, and she, you know, she brought Raquel into the spotlight, so we can thank her all for that too, right? But, um, I don't know. I'd like to see, uh, those two eventually get a shot at the women's tag titles. Um, if, uh, if Charlotte and Asuka feel like making their way down to NXT, um, there's a lot of good tag, there's a lot of good potentially women's tag teams down there. Um, so that would be fun to see. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go with Dakota Kai there. <laughs> Alright, so, event of the year. Oh, this is so much stuff. This is so much information. 
All right, event of the year, TakeOver Blackpool 2, TakeOver Portland, TakeOver In Your House, Great American Bash, TakeOver 30, TakeOver 31. War Games, and my pick is Halloween Havoc. Uh, probably my second pick would be TakeOver In Your House. There was a lot of great TakeOvers this year, but Halloween Havoc really stood out to me. Obviously, you guys know, you can see the background, you know, from my previous videos. I am a huge horror fan. That's my second love to wrestling. Uh, Halloween Havoc was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, plus, just the card was really solid from top to bottom. I, that was just a great event. Uh, In Your House was a lot of fun to me. It was just... It was a real break from everything that we're going through in the world. Um, I don't know. I just, you know, with, with it being in your house, you know, the, the pun is obvious there. We were all in our houses for a long time this year. Um, but in your house was also a solid card. That might be my second pick, but I'm going to go with Halloween Havoc here. Uh, match of the year. I'm kind of, I'm jumping a little all over the place. I probably should have finished with that one. Um... Let's go with, let's go future star of the year. I feel like I want to make sure I covered everything. I got my little list down here. That's why I keep looking down. Oh, Austin Theory, Jake Atlas, Leon Ruff, Casey Catanzaro, Caden Carter, Indy Hartwell, uh, Zia Lee, A-Kid, Valkyrie, and Pretty Deadly. Um, I think it's great that they put in a lot of people in UK on this category because they certainly deserve it as well. Uh, Casey and Caden, I've been a fan of for a long time. I just mentioned how I wish um, the women's tag titles could be defended again on the NXT brand. They are certainly very strong contenders for that. Leon Ruff had a fantastic year. Um, I'd like to think he's a future star. Um, he's certainly a star at the moment. Uh, where everything takes him from here, you know, we'll see. But I'm hoping that he still continues to shine. Uh, Jake Atlas is so talented. Um, I'm hoping that he gets more opportunities. Uh, he came in pretty hot and then it feels like it got a little stagnant. Um, so I'm hoping that they do some more stuff with him. Um, cause I think he's just, he's tremendous in the ring. I, I love Jake. Uh, Austin Theory, uh, kind of weird, uh, be just because of the way he's been booked in the year he's been having. I don't know if I would vote for him in this category. Uh, He's had some things happen, and thus he's been all over the place. He's been in, like, three different factions, and he, like, is not even that... Like, he's been with the company for not that long, and he's done a bunch of different things. Which can be good, but it's also... It's hard to... Uh, when you jump around like that, it's hard for the fans to really get invested in you, positively or negatively, when you're just kind of all over the place. Uh, but I really think him and Indy have found their home, have found their footing with the Gargano family. I absolutely love these Gargano skits. They are hilarious. If you, I mean, I'm sure you guys, you know, if you're watching a video about the NXT year-end awards, I'm sure you watched this past week's NXT, but the Gargano stole the show there. Oh my god. Um, the stuff with Indy Hartwell, with Candace, we support Indy Wrestling. Indy Wrestling, she's taken on the family surname, so now she's going to be known as Indy Wrestling. Um, the whey protein, the Gargano whey protein, just puns all over the place. Very punny video. Uh, very punny segments. I, I think these guys are hilarious. I love what they're going for. I get it. I'm into it. I love it. I'm here for it. Okay. So who else do we have in there? Uh, Zia Lee. I don't know if. Um, I mean, future star is an interesting category to put her in because we don't really know what she's up to now. Um, but I'd imagine she's going to be a little spitfire when she comes back. I'd imagine that she's going to be. Um, a lot more aggressive than we've seen her, um, a lot more hard-hitting, a lot more powerful than we've seen her, a lot tougher, a lot uh, take no bull attitude. So it should be interesting to see what kind of Xylee we get when she's done with her, um, I don't know what we want to call what she's going through right now. I don't know if you want to call it training or torture or a little bit of both, but interesting stuff they're doing with her. A-Kid would probably be my second pick for this. Pretty Deadly, also a good choice. Um, they have done a lot so far in NXT UK, but from what I really... Uh, they really stood out to me in Progress Wrestling. They So from what I've seen in Progress Wrestling, I think these guys are actually capable of having takeover quality matches. They were that good. Uh, so I can certainly see what WWE sees in them. Um, they are even more fantastic than the matches we've seen on UK so far, in my opinion. Um, so again, the best is yet to come for them. So future stars, let's hope so. 
Uh, my pick for this category is going to be Valkyrie, though. Um, I, I, again, I've loved her before WWE. I've seen matches of hers. Which she's one of the best female wrestlers in the world, in my opinion. Um, and I can't wait to see her get some opportunities on NXT UK. Okay, I think we are finally down to match of the year. Oh, we are going on over 15 minutes in this video. So, let's see. The Fatal 4-Way Iron Man match. Uh, Cole vs. Balor. Gargano vs. Champa. One final beat. Balor vs. Kyle O'Reilly. Excellent, excellent choice there. Um, North American title ladder match. Uh, Io Shirai vs. Candice LeRae. Out of paper. Men's War Games, Women's War Games, Walter vs. Ilya, Riddle vs. Thatcher in the Pit Fight, Rhea Ripley vs. Io Shirai vs. Charlotte, Tyler Bate vs. Jordan Devlin. Um, here's another one that I really liked. Reed vs. Strong vs. Uh, Gargano. Um, that was an excellent match. Uh, but my pick, again, I have to go. You guys already know. Gallus vs. GYV vs. Imperium vs. Andrews and Webster ladder match. Take over to Blackpool. Alright, so that is it. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. I threw my notes too early. Okay, so before we go, if you vote on the NXT Awards on WWE's website, after you are done voting, they will take you to polls. Um, which tag team made the biggest statement on NXT? Your choices are GYV, Everrise, and Imperium. So select Imperium for that too. That's all the time we have for today, guys. Love you. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Have a good night. Enjoy Raw. Bye. Mwah.